For long, affordable has meant compromise. Smaller batteries, weaker motors, and stripped down interiors. But that's not what Musk meant when he talked about the car that the car that everyone loves and wants at a more affordable price. Right there in September 2025, JGA, Texas. 50,000 ton presses roaring. Transformers the size of buildings rolling through factory gates. While the automotive world debates whether affordable EVs can ever match premium quality, Elon Musk just demolished that entire argument with a single production line. That's a whole new production line that crushes every barrier of cost, complexity, and scale. And today we will bring you the deep analysis of this new innovation that is shattering every limit. Who understand where automotive manufacturing is actually headed, not where marketing says it's going. The subscribe button is how you lock in that advantage. And the bell icon means you won't miss the technical breakdowns others pay consultants to understand. 1. How does the 100% American manufacturing actually make the model too faster to build? Everyone knows what held Tesla back from making a really cheap car is always the global supply chain that they depend on. The new Model Y Juniper 2025 just launched with a starting price of over $46,630 and about 25% of its battery and electronics parts still come from overseas. But with the Model 2, this will be the first car built with almost everything made in America, cutting imports down to less than 2%. The biggest change is the batteries. Tesla is moving from traditional lithium-ion packs to sodium-ion. That means no more relying on imported lithium, cobalt, or nickel from China. These materials are not only expensive, but they also add hidden costs like shipping across the Pacific. Import tariffs, long wait times, and especially cost you 25% tariff. Every lithium battery basically comes with a built-in global supply chain tax that Americans have to pay. Sodium ion is a whole new story. Just in Texas alone, the U.S. produces around 10 million tons of salt every year. Using only 0.1% of that supply is enough to make 14 to 16 million 50 kilowatt hour battery packs for the Model 2 annually. All without worrying about running out. On top of that, cutting out four weeks of Chinese refining, 30 to 45 days trans-Pacific shipping, and middlemen means the time to produce a battery drops from six months to just one to two weeks if the entire cell processing and manufacturing chain takes place right in the U.S. By that way, Tesla cuts out both that expensive raw material cost and what Tesla calls peripheral costs. Sodium batteries cost 60 to 70 percent less to make than lithium-ion. A 50 kilowatt hour lithium pack costs around $7,500. But a sodium pack comes in at only about $1,500. That's $6,000 in direct savings per Model 2. But here's where Tesla's production line truly shattered limits. They're not just making batteries faster. They're parallelizing the entire supply chain. Traditional automakers run sequential processes. Mine raw materials, ship overseas, refine, manufacture cells, assemble packs, then integrate into vehicles. Each step waits for the previous one to complete. Tesla's vertical integration at Giga Texas means salt extraction in West Texas. Electrochemical processing in Austin and battery assembly on the same campus happens simultaneously. This isn't just faster, it's a fundamental restructuring of manufacturing physics. In comparison, Toyota's best-in-class supply chain velocity moves at 45 days of inventory turn. Tesla's Model 2 line is targeting 8-day turns. That's not incremental improvement. That's a 5.66 times acceleration in capital efficiency for every dollar invested. Tesla cycles through production 5.6 times faster than competitors. In 2026 manufacturing economics, velocity is profitability. And it's not just batteries. Tesla is also cutting its dependence on China for electronics. At Giga Texas in Austin, they're moving chip production in-house and working with Texas Instruments, which supplies locally made control chips. Chips that used to cost $2,000 a set when imported 
now cost between $900 and $1,200, saving another $1,500 per car, in which Tesla's chip architecture uses domain-specific integrated circuits designed exclusively for automotive applications. While traditional manufacturers buy general-purpose chips and adapt them, Tesla designs chips around their specific needs, including motor control, battery management, and autonomous driving, then manufactures them at scale. This isn't just cost savings, it's performance optimization. Their custom chips process vehicle data 40% faster while consuming 30% less power than off-the-shelf equivalents. That extra efficiency extends your range by approximately 15 to 18M per charge and free miles from smarter silicon. Altogether, imports are dropping from 25% in the Model Y to just nearly 2% in the Model 2. That makes it the first Tesla that is nearly 99% American-made. And here's where the real benefit kicks in for you, the American buyer. Manufacturing in the U.S. is helping Tesla save you $10,000 and allowing the company to take advantage of tax incentives and subsidies from the U.S. government. We can talk about the $7,500 EVIR tax credit and tax exemptions for vehicles with at least 85% domestic components. From the announced price of $25,000, the car actually reaches you for only under $17,500. That's cheaper than a new Toyota Corolla. So if Tesla's production line could deliver premium EV technology at economy car prices while keeping manufacturing jobs in America, which manufacturing breakthrough matters most to you? Comment 1 for sodium ion batteries, 2 for domestic chip production, or 3 for the complete vertical integration strategy. 2. How amazingly can Tesla's casting technology eliminate 5,600 potential failure points? The strength of any electric car really comes down to its frame. At Tesla's Model 2 production line, the question is, how do you build a frame that doesn't need fixing for 20 years and won't rust no matter where you drive it? The answer is casting technology that every automaker is trying to catch up with Tesla. While Ford has only just started using a 9,300-ton gigapress at Giga Texas, Elon Musk is already pulling the covers off 50,000-ton machines. These giants can cast the entire car frame in just three pieces, the front, the rear, and the floor. That cuts out 90% of the welds you'd normally see in a traditional car. A Model 3 has over 6,000 weld points, but in Model 2, the last number is just 400. That means thousands of potential weak spots that could crack or break over time, or simply gone. With fewer moving joints, the whole frame shakes less. That's exactly what Tesla is doing with the Model 2. When the car hits a pothole at 30 to 40 miles per hour, 